Lieutenant, je vous ai décoré avec la croix de guerre. Conserve-la comme souvenir à une action merveilleuse. Lieutenant, nous sommes contents de vous avoir parmi nous. When am I going to see you again, honey? Oh, give me a ring next week sometime. Oh, next week? I'll tell you what. Let's all come up to my apartment for dinner. What do you say? Okay by me, baby. You, huh? Don't mind me. I just came in to get warm. Well, I happen to know where he was last night. And I'll bet you dough that he don't blow around here till around 5 o'clock. Now, why not give me a crack at him? Say, if he comes along and catches you up, he'll murder you. Ah, uh, he'll murder nobody. Besides, I'm telling you, he won't be here. I know. You're not going to disappoint the customers, are you? Well, go ahead, but listen. If he catches you, 
Don't try to hang it on me. Okay. By the way, I'm using his crate, too. What's the matter with your own? What's the matter with it? Flipper hinges shot, two cracked struts, and the rest of it held together with hairpins. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes if Bill Taylor catches you. But don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, don't worry. I can do that egg stuff better than he can himself. Well, I'll give you a show. You watch. I'm watching. Pull him away, Logan. Hey, that's what Bill Taylor ship. Why, you don't tell me. You surprised me. Pull him away. Yes, but... No but. Do like I tell you. Pull him away. Dukin and the dirty bum has got my freak. Oh, Bill, aren't you coming up for dinner? Hey, What's the idea of Dukin being up in my plane? Well, you were late. He said you wouldn't be here. Oh, he said I wouldn't be here, huh? You like shows, don't you? Well, I'm going to give you one. I'm going up and run that lousy kiwi right out of the sky. Listen, Bill, you can't fly this ship. The flipper hands are gone shot. Take a look at it here. What do you mean? Look at here. Hold that. I'll fix the lousy thing. Pull it up a little. There. Listen, Bill, don't be a sap. You'll kill yourself in this thing. Hey, they fly better for me that way. But listen, Graham. Pull them out.
you try to do, kill somebody? Listen, the next time you cross me, I'm gonna crack you up, and I'm gonna crack you up good. I'll bust turn on your neck. Was you looking for something, Lieutenant? Frank? Yes. Hey, where's Tom? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a week. Why don't you call his girl up? What do you mean, his girl? Who is she? I don't know who she is. I'll tell you I haven't seen Tommy for a week. Uh, you're a big help. Grab a little feed. Okay. And maybe after we go out and uh, swing the puppies, huh? Okay. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. You're listening to Earl Burtnett's broadcast from the Kit Kat Cafe. You will hear Burtnett's trio singing. I'm that way about baby. I'm so happy, oh so happy, things are shaping up great. I'm in high, here's some why. My sweet baby just said maybe we'd be name of the day. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you at this time Miss Patsy Burke, who will sing that popular number, If I Had My Way. Since the 
day we met, I've been all upset, sweetheart. Wondering how and why and where you and I said. This funny world would be heaven to you and me. If I could just arrange it as I planned, I'd make a play day of every gray day. If I had my way, dear, I'd have a songbird singing pretty love. For you alone to hear I'd make the night time One sweet delight time And you'd be always near We'd have our love to guide us There'd be no thrill If I had my way, dear. Da 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 If I had my way, dear. I have a long word, a long to hear. I'd met the night time once we did. Certainly not. We'll quiet him down. Quiet him down, nothing. Out with him. But listen, Pat. He may be a good customer. Yeah, well, customers that annoys all the others. Well, no, no, they were laughing. Sure, at me. Now, get this. Either he goes out or I go. Well, if you think that way about it, Pat. Hey, Mike, could you come here, please? That's all right. See that guy. Comes by Ashray. Pardon me, sir. Someone to see you outside. Me? Is she a brunette? Pardon me, just a minute. I've got something very important to attend to. But, Bill, what do you want me to do? Sit right there. But don't try to hold your breath till I get back. Kind of late for a little bit of a gal like you to be out all alone? Oh, I don't know. Why? How's for you and me to go places and uh, ring doorbells? What's on your mind, big boy? What do you say if we go get some hot groceries and kind of talk it over? Huh? 
Okay, by me, Cat. Where's your car? Now, ain't that just my tough luck? Just the day I put my packet in the shop, and if it wasn't for Hi, that... Hi, Bill. And he's got a gal with him. Hey! And Romeo, you turned out to be. Gee, Bill, I thought you was asleep. No, I wasn't asleep. And what I want to know is where you've been and who you've been with. Well, I was with a a friend of mine. Oh, a friend of yours, huh? Well, listen, young fella, you're getting a little bit too fresh. And besides, what's the idea of taking the car and making me walk home? Well, I left you a note. Yeah, I got it. A heavy date, huh? What about my dates? And besides, I got thrown out of a cafe. What cafe? What's the difference? Did you go in and clean it out, Bill? No, I didn't. I started to, but about then I got another idea. Another girl, huh? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't. We're seeing you riding down the street with a girl. Now listen, you gotta pipe down a little. Oh, don't worry about me, Bill. I can take care of myself. Oh, you can take care of yourself, huh? Well, what's the matter with you? I've been acting kind of screwy lately. Nothing. Don't give me that. get married. 
Poor little kitty. I guess it was that falling out of the high chair that did it. Oh, Nick's now, Bill. I'm on the level. Sure, you're on the level, and you're figuring on getting married, huh? To who? To a nice girl. Sure, a nice girl. Well, this one is nice. All right, now, don't get excited. Come on, get in the bed. <clears throat> now, come on, give me the lowdown. You know, it's a good thing you sprung this before it was too late. Come on now, tell old Bill what it's all about. Who is she? Gosh, she's the swellest little girl you ever saw in your life. Sure, they're all swell kids. Yeah, but this one's different. Listen, there ain't none of them different. I've been places and seen things, and no matter what the nationality is, they're all alike. Now, you know my motto. Find them, fool them, and forget them. Oh, but Bill, you don't know this girl. I don't want to know her. She's a girl, ain't she? And stick to what I'm telling you. Find them, fool them, and forget them. Now go to sleep. Well, but Bill, let me tell you something about this one. Oh, all right. If you ever found her, you wouldn't want to fool her. You'd have an awful tough time trying to forget her. Yeah? Now, take me, boy. I can fool them all. And I'm the fastest little guy in the world about forgetting them. Now, turn over and let's get out that sleep, both of us. Oh, but Bill. Sleep. getting all dolled up about. Well, you see, I'm gonna... I had her up in the plane today, Bill. Gee, she's swell. Yeah? Well, you ain't gonna see that gal tonight. Why not? Because I said so. Oh, listen, Bill, if you only knew her. I don't want to know her. She's a gal, ain't she? Well, I got a date with her. Wait a minute. You ain't leaving this joint tonight. Oh, listen, Bill. Don't be like that. Why don't you come along with me? She works down at the Kit Kat. Oh, the Kit Kat, huh? Well, you ain't going Kit Katting or no place else. Do you get that? Now, listen, Tommy. I know more about these things than you do. Why don't we stay home and just have a quiet little evening with the books? Books? I can see you with a book. Well, look, here's a new one. I got you on aeronautics. What do you say? I'm going to keep my date. You're going to stay right here. Who's going to make me? I am. You are, hey? Okay. Wait a minute. You keep your hands off of me. What do you think I am? You chase around any place you want. You want me to grow up to be a sap, never to have any fun, never to know any girls. What do you think I am? I'm human. You leave me alone. I'm no kid any longer. I can take care of myself. Wait a minute now, Tommy. Stay away from that door, Bill. I'm going through it. Yeah? Get out of my way, I tell you! All right, kid, I know you didn't mean to do it. Listen, Tom, I've been your dad and your mother and everything. I've been taking care of you too long to let you go out and let some dame make a chump out of you. You know what I mean, don't you? Not a boy. You say she works down to Kit Kat, huh? What's her name? Pat. Patsy Burke. Patsy Burke. 
And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going down and have a talk with her. I'll get her number. You know, I know all about Dame. I'll find out whether this one is different or not. Do I know him? And how? Asking if he was ever at the Leventa Inn last spring. Oh, so that's the guy. What's he like? Well, he should be wearing a sandpaper collar for that rough neck of his. But, gee, he's a swell guy. Stepping out with him? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. My baby aviator left me flat. And you never heard tell of me walking home, did you, baby? At a girl. And it's all mine. Does it give a good treatment in ten blocks? What do you mean? I bet you'd be afraid to carry home a bottle of cream in it. Now well, listen, quit wisecracking. You know, there's a lot of little gals like to be in your spot. What a shrinking violet you turned out to be. What days do you hate yourself on? Well, I gotta admit I'm good. I don't want to make a liar out of all the little gals in town. Oh. Come on, let's get going. Would you mind getting in this way? Did you ever try using this? It's a gift, baby. I guess it must be. I didn't even know it was there. of a girl like you robbing the cradle and playing around with a 19-year-old kid. You set up playing around, and that's all I'm doing. It doesn't hurt him any, and does me a lot of good. Yeah, but, uh... You don't think I'm taking any kid to raise, do you? And besides, what business is it of yours anyway? Well, I was just thinking you're losing a lot of time every minute you ain't with me. Gee, I would draw a wisecracker. Do you know any more tricks? Sure, I can sing. Oh, really? 
I'd make a play day. No, that's of who every... you are. What do you mean? You're the clown that broke up my act. What act? In the cafe the other night. Don't pull that innocent stuff on me. I ought to tell you just what I think. Be big, know I have... be big. Forget all about it. Well, I ought to be pretty sore at you. Yeah, I guess you ought to be, but you aren't, are you? Hmm? How well, about a little kid? think I brought you home for? Come on. Well, not bad. Sir, pretty good. Come to Papa. No, Bill, not now. Why not? You'll have to excuse me a minute. I, I have to change my dress. Maybe, but make it snappy. I will. Boy. Thanks. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm happy to have met you. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. I'm sorry you have to go. It's been awfully nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Oh. Yeah. 
I did, didn't I? Gee, you're... You're swell. See her, Bill? Oh, yeah, I saw her. Well? You're right, she's different. Gee, I knew you'd feel that way if you only met her once. But I still ain't saying she's the girl for you. Listen, the only thing that's the matter with you, you got a bad case of puppy love. And besides, she's too old for you. Yeah, but Bill... Now, take me, for instance. When I was your age, I was just as cuckoo as anybody. I used to stand around under a girl's window and pine. And I didn't even know her. But that was before I knew all about dames like I do now. But Bill, that's the girl I love. You haven't got anything against her personally, have you? Oh, certainly not, Tommy. That ain't the idea. She's the kind of a girl that anybody be proud to pick. But you're just a punk. I don't see how anybody could help loving a swell girl like her. Oh, I know, but look, it ain't only her I'm trying to steer you away from. I'm trying to remind you that you're just a kid. Did you notice her eyes, Bill? Yeah, swell. Just like pools with a million colors dancing around them. And her hair? Yeah. Did you ever notice when the light hits it just right, it looks like it was made out of gold or something? Yeah, she's okay. And you notice when she laughs, you notice them dimples? Just like a picture. Oh, gosh, I never have seen anything like her. Yeah, swell. And the way she walks. The way she holds her head. Yeah. Mm, gee. Uh-huh. Sure. You'd kind of like to come out and watch me do my stuff. I'm going to be thrilled to death. I know you are. And you're going to be careful, aren't you? Listen, baby. Pop is always careful. Yeah. You. Hello, Tommy. Yeah, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, you came out with Bill, huh? Do you know Bill? Are you kidding me? Didn't you know he's my brother? Your brother? Yeah. Why, well, he said he didn't even know you. 
people who don't pay any attention to him. He's always clowning. Jeez, a swell guy. Look at him. Yeah, he's a swell guy. Always clowning. Hey, Tom. Passenger. Coming up. I gotta go to work, honey, but I'll be seeing you. Maybe this evening, huh? Maybe. Tommy, be sure you come and don't send your brother. Okay, baby. Stupid. Hey, what's the idea? Them wires are so loose, you got tie knots in them. What are you trying to do, kill me? Yeah, but Phil, just the other day, you said they flew better for you that way. Never mind what I said the other day. Your job is to keep things right and safe. Boy, I got responsibilities, lots of them. Fix it up. Well, what do you think of your papa now, huh? You're a swell guy. What a nice little mild Spanish you turned out to be. Well, what do you mean? You know what I mean. I know why you came to see me now. I like somebody that's on the up and up. Oh, honey, I'm on the up and up. I think you're grand. I'm crazy about you. Yeah, crazy about me. You lie to me about Tommy and expect me to fall for that. Oh, I know I was wrong, but I changed, honey. Please believe me, won't you? I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's get down to the cafe and get something to eat and we'll kind of talk it over. Uh, honest, honey, I've, I've got a lot of awful important things to tell you. Won't you, please? Mm -hmm. Come on. That's sweet. You'd sing that just for me. Do you really want to hear it? Mm-hmm. Earl, play if I had my way in ballad time. All right, Pat. Let's go, boys.
you have dessert, sir? Beg pardon, sir? Do you have dessert? Oh, uh... Oh, dessert? Oh, uh... What are you gonna have, honey? Huh? Dessert. Uh, what are you gonna have? Oh, dessert. Oh, what are you gonna have? Oh, Billy is a hero boy, Polly Woo. Oh, Billy is his mother's joy, Polly Pardon me Woo. just a minute. I Except got some important the business to Jerry. To. And now Billy thinks that he's the berries. Hinky dinky Polly Woo. Well, you looking for something, Lieutenant? I'll have pie. You won't, huh? It isn't that I won't. It's simply that I can't. But why? Saying you can't or you won't, and you don't tell me why. Oh, Tommy, you're an awful sweet kid. I can't marry you. For one thing, I'm too old for you. Too old nothing. Why, you can't be more than, well, a couple of, well, I'll bet you're a year younger than me anyway. Oh, Tommy, you're such a little boy sometimes. No, I'm not. I'm a man. I got a grown man's pilot's license, haven't I? You can't be a little boy and be a flyer, can you? I don't mean it that way. Of course you're a man, and I admire you and respect you for the nice, clean man that you are. And I do love you. In a way. Oh, but don't you understand, Tommy? It's not the kind of love... I know. I'm wise. There's someone else. Oh, Tommy, if, if you'd only... There is someone else, isn't there? Oh, perhaps. I knew it. Someone else. And if it wasn't for this other guy, you'd marry me, wouldn't you? Oh, Tommy, don't you understand... Wouldn't that... you? Perhaps. I knew it. Well, I guess you won't ever want to see me again. Oh, of course I will. Well, I don't see how you could. Under the circumstances, I don't see how any girl would want to see a fellow again after she'd said what you said. But, Tommy, I didn't say anything. Oh, you didn't, huh? Well, you said no, didn't you? I guess that's plenty. Well, goodbye. Not goodbye, Tommy. Please. Oh, this is only another of the breaks that me and Bill have always gotten. I guess I can take it standing up. Don't worry. I won't ever bother you again. Oh, Tommy, don't be that way. You don't bother me. I'm awfully sorry. I feel terribly that this has hurt you so. Well, that's all right. I don't want you to feel bad. I'll just ease out of the picture. I guess me and Bill will just go on through life being a couple of old bachelors. Well, so long, Pat. See you in church. you're doing? I'm going away. You're what? I'm going up north and get a job flying mail. You just think you are. Well, I am. Nobody's going to stop me, not even you. But I wish you'd come along with me. Why? Oh, to get away from this crummy town, these Humpty Dumpty people. Hey, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Come on now, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing of any importance. And anyway, you wouldn't understand. Oh, I wouldn't, huh? Well, listen. Suppose you spring it and give me a chance to figure out whether I understand or not. I'd rather not say anything about it. Come on now, give me the lowdown. Well, 
I had a little talk with Pat this afternoon. Oh. And she... She turned you down, huh? Yeah. Flat. You said I was too young. And besides... Yeah? She said there was somebody else. She said that? She say who it was? No, she wouldn't tell me. But she did say if it wasn't for this other guy, she'd marry me. Oh, she said that, huh? Well, there's someone else. And if it wasn't for that someone else, she'd marry you. Well, that's all right, Bill. I guess I can take it standing up. Of course, a plot like that rocks a guy, but... I guess I can stay on my feet. And I made up my mind that the best thing to do would be to just go away. Go away and forget. About the only good break I ever got is that I got you. Don't think I'm soft or sentimental because I'm not. Oh, I know that, Tommy. Yeah, Pat said I was too young. But I guess maybe she's wrong, isn't she, Bill? Sure she's wrong, kid. The only time I feel like a kid is when I'm with you. Gee, I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for you. So if it wasn't for, uh, for someone else, she'd marry you, huh? Well, listen, kid, don't you worry. You can always come to old Bill. You know that, don't you? And you can have anything he's got. You know that too, don't you? Now, I'm going down and fix things up. Oh, no, no, Bill. Don't say nothing to Pat. Why not? I'm not going to let her turn you down and get away with it, not while I'm around. Oh, no, no. It won't do no... Listen, unpack the things. I think I know who this guy is, and I'll get him out of the way. Do you really think you can? Certainly I can. It's a cinch. And besides, there ain't anybody going to give you the runaround. Not while old Bill's on the job. you turned out to be, didn't you? What's the matter? So you think you're too good for my kid brother, huh? He ain't swell enough for you. He don't drive a Rolls Royce and bring you no orchids, huh? Why, I never said that. You didn't have to say it. I was on the minute I talked to him. And another thing, you thought I was crashing for you, huh? Well, get that out of your head pronto. You can't come here and talk that way to me, Bill Taylor. Oh, ain't you peculiar? I'm here, ain't I? I am talking, ain't I? Me, crashing for you? I wouldn't have you as a gift. All right, all right, forget that part of it. But let me tell you this. You can't turn my kid brother down and get away with it. There ain't nothing too good for him. Just a minute. I think he's a swell kid and I'm strong for him. I love him to death. Like a mother or sister. But that doesn't give you any right to come in here and talk this way to me, and I'm not going to stand for it. All right, sit down, then. And get a load of this. That kid can have anything he wants, and if he wants you, he's going to have you. Now make that into a hat and wear it. Fix it, Bill? I fixed it. I put this guy clear out of the picture. Honest? Absolutely. Now, don't be a chump. Go on down there while it's hot and see if you can do yourself some good. 
Honest, Bill? Well, I'm telling you, I go on. Powder. Hurry up. Gee, Bill, I'll never forget this. Never. Neither will I, Tommy. I never sent him, Pat. He insisted on coming. And of course, gee whiz, and Bill was the guy all along. Ain't he swell? I don't blame you. Do you, do you really love him, Pat? Well, gee whiz. Well, look, the thing for us to do is go and find him and tell him, ain't it? Oh, I, I couldn't do that. Why not? Oh, oh, after all the things he said to me, don't you understand? Now, look here, Pat. You've got to. You simply got to tell him. It's coming to him to know. Oh, what a fool I am. I guess you're right. I'm just a kid. I should have understood this long ago. Look, it must be nearly 2.30 now. We can catch him at the field if we hurry. Now look, Pat, pull yourself together. You don't want him to know you was crying. Try and chase him down. You'll never do it. I'm going to try. again, he'd crack them up and crack them up good, and that's just what's going to happen.
I guess you know now that I didn't mean them. Will you forgive me? Hey, Tommy. There's a passenger. Nothing stern. I'm through with him. I'm checking out. Quit your clown and get over here. Yeah. Pardon me, but I've got some important personal business to attend to. Honey, there's a lot of money in it, and we're going to need money. I don't care. There's plenty of, mother, of money in other kinds of flying. And besides, you've got responsibilities now. Promise? All right, anything. Bill, he is the hero boy, Polly. Oh, Bill, he is his mother's joy, Polly. They slip him some medals and a crook she carries. Bill, he thinks that... He's the fairy. Hinky, dinky, Polly. Honey, will you excuse me just a minute? Now I have got some important business to attend to. Was you looking for something, Lieutenant? Mm-hmm. Try that on your ukulele. 